Hi, Grandmom. Anything special in the mail this morning? Oh, nothing at all, Crumpet. Unless you think tire advertisements are special. Oh, I hoped I might get a postcard from my friend Claire today. Oh, don't worry your mop top about that, dearie. Why don't you sit down and tell me all about it? You gotta see this! Well, maybe now's not the best time, Jason. Can't you see that Michelle's not feeling very happy right now? Yeah, sure. She'll get over it. Come on, you gotta see this! I read about this in one of Granddad's science books. It's way cool! Watch! I made this volcano out of clay and put a little baking soda inside. Now watch what happens when I add vinegar. What's wrong with her? In case you haven't noticed, your sister's feeling a bit down in the mouth and your excitement isn't helping much. But the foaming, the lava! This was the coolest thing ever! You know, there's a verse about that. Why am I not surprised? Like what who takes away a garment on a cold day, or like vinegar poured on soda, is one who sings songs to a heavy heart. What does that mean? If you act happy in front of someone who is sad, it just irritates them. Like when you poured the vinegar on the baking soda. Sometimes they can even erupt in anger. Well, how else are you supposed to cheer someone up? Well, you could try listening to their troubles. It's one way to show care and compassion. I'm compassionate. I helped her up when she fell in the mud. I don't make fun of her when she tries to throw a baseball. And, and those are all fine examples. But how you show compassion depends upon the situation. So what do you want me to do? In this case, you need to ask her what's wrong, listen to what's bothering her, and show her you care. Compassion, Jason. It will give her a lift. Now, think about that whilst I whip up some lunch. Compassion. I'd rather do something fun. Let's sing a little song with eight little words about a rocket ship and flightless birds. Sigil! Vigil! Vigil! Kevin! What's going on? Happy birthday! Merry Christmas! Happy birthday, Michelle! Happy birthday, Jason! Oh, we've been planning this for weeks. I bet you never suspected a thing. It's not our birthday. Our birthday was two months ago. Surprised, huh? Oh, come open your presents and then we'll have some cake. I'm not really in the mood. Ooh, what's wrong with Michelle? She's in a bad mood. But don't act happy, or it will make her even more unhappy. Or something like that. You like it, huh? Mmm, <laughs> tastes like fish. Uh, thanks, Kevin. Why don't you hold on to them and we can share? <laughs> wait, wait, it gets better. <clears throat> I mean... Uh, Michelle, this is from Mitchell and me. A Miss Pretty Pretty Vanity Set. Too bad I left her back at the cottage, along with someone to play with. Thanks, just the same. You're quite welcome. Sorry Miss Pretty Pretty's not here. And this is for you. 
rocket wheelies. Just slide them onto the heels of your shoes and go. I could go on those, mate. Don't be silly, Midgel. You're an officer. Since I'm captain, I'll go next. Don't worry, we'll take turns. That's what friends are for, right? Uh, Michelle, what's the matter? Why? Nothing. I'm fine. Really. Woo! Excuse me, did anyone notice that Michelle left her own party or the fact that she's not happy? Tidy Bites? What kind of gift is that? I told you she's been moping around all morning. I'm supposed to show her some compassion, but I'd rather play with my cool new rocket wheelies. Well, we can't have her dragging around like an old gloomy Gus. Compassion, huh? That's like being cheery, right? Nah, it's, well, listening and that kind of stuff, I think. I got it! We'll throw her an even bigger party at the Comet Lounge! Splendid notion! But what if that doesn't work? I mean, she didn't seem too happy about the first one we threw. I believe I have an idea. Whoa! What is it? The X51 Behavior Modifier. What does it do? It modifies behavior. It will make Michelle happy, even happier than a birthday party. Mm, I love birthday parties. Whoa, is this thing safe? Yes, yes, quite. Nothing could be safer. Allow me to demonstrate. <clears throat> Here, you simply type in whatever emotion you wish. Joy, anger, love. Oh, 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 I want love. I want love. Kevin, we are going to help Michelle with her problem. Say, can I get a perm with that thing? I've been thinking about changing my look. Happiness. There. We increase the modifier to the appropriate level. I believe seven should do the trick. What happens if you turn the dial the other way, to the red zone? Oh, believe me, you don't want to do that. It would have the opposite effect. All right, then. We're ready for modification. Now all we need is... What are you guys doing? Oh, nothing. Want to try something? No, I just came back for my present. But if you just have a seat here, you will be happy again. I don't want to sit in that thing. Forget it. I'm going to play by myself, as usual. I don't get it, Captain. Seems like Michelle is always off playing by herself. Maybe we should cancel her party and celebrate my birthday instead. I have a short list of presents you could give me. Or not. We asked her what's wrong and listened to her. That was supposed to make her happy. At least that's what Grandmom said. I just had another idea. If we can't get Michelle to sit in the X51, what about us? But we're already happy. As in, happy birthday to me? Uh, no. I mean, what if we set the X51 to give us. Uh, uh, what was it, Jason? Compassion? Right, here we go. Uh, Captain, you first. I'm not sitting in that dusty old thing. That's better. Take me to your leader. Ha! <gasps> <gasps> Had you going, didn't I? Well, I got stuff to do. Later. Oh, Captain, I am so hungry. It's been so long since I've had a bite. I'm absolutely famished. Oh. Strange. He doesn't seem overly compassionate. Still seems rather self-centered. What'd you expect, Mother Teresa? Me next, Professor. 
Well, how do you feel? Oh, oh give me a hand, Mitchell. No, I mean help me. Help yourself, mate. But I've fallen and I can't get up. <laughs> that was funny, Doc. In the 80s. How rude. Me next. What? Oh, uh, uh, yes. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, go, go ahead. If you need me for anything, I'll be below deck. Hmm. I know the X51 is a little dusty, but I'm finding the effect that it's having to be a bit. Bye! Curious. Well, Kevin, are you ready for a healthy dose of compassion? I've done all I can do. The rest of you are on your own. Hey, Michelle, what you doing? Nothing. Why aren't you zipping around on your new rocket wheelies? Nah, bored. Oh, yeah? Well, you can hang around here and play with me if you want. Nah, I was looking for something fun to do. Oh, yeah. Are you still feeling down? Well, it's just that I... Well, I hope you feel better soon. Bye! Nobody really listens to me. I miss my friends and I just want somebody to play with to play my games. <clears throat> Captain's Blog. With a healthy dose of compassion from the X51, we have all become the picture of caring for each other. Whoa! Whoa -ho -ho! Whoa, cool! That almost seemed real. Ah! Asteroids! <laughs> yeah, it's great! No, 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 no! Asteroids! <laughs> ah! Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. Why weren't you watching out for us instead of playing video games? You could have warned me if you weren't more concerned with your hair. Ah! Ah! Mitchell, what's the meaning of this? What's going on? Since this is the end, I'd like to say I've enjoyed working with you all. Hold on! We're going down! Everybody all right? Hey, okay over here. I'm good. Well, since you asked, I've been feeling kind of... Good. Glad to hear it. Begging the captain's pardon, but in case you haven't noticed, we have just crash-landed on an asteroid. Actually, on a scale of 1 to 10, that was more of a bounce than a crash. I'd call it a flub. A slight wipeout. Is anyone listening to me? Believe me, I know how you feel. I'm hungry. Ugh, I'm going to check the damages outside the ship. Hey, he's right. This is serious. Old Miss Gloomy Gus is back. I'm going to help Fidget. I'm not entirely sure, but I wouldn't say she's feeling any better. Well, we tried that compassion stuff with no luck. Maybe we should try that party idea again. Joe, I don't know what's wrong with everybody. I quite agree. I've never seen them act so rude. Give me that. 
Is there anything I can do to help? Well, not unless you have a degree in electrical engineering. Or can scrounge up a hundred pounds of reinforced terillium alloy sheeting in storage. And for goodness sake, it wouldn't hurt you to smile. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Hey, Fidgel, where's Michelle? I sent her to get some sheeting to patch up the hole. She's just a kid. That stuff weighs a ton. Then I suppose you better make yourselves useful and go and see if she needs some help, shouldn't you? Seriously, I don't know what's come over you. Now, if there are no further interruptions... Who are you talking to? Oh, uh, I sent Jason and Midgel to help Michelle get some sheeting. Good thinking. I'll go see what's keeping them. That was quick. Here I am, working myself sick while they're all traipsing around. How utterly inconsiderate. Oh, my. What are those things? Shh! They might be listening. Did anyone bring a cotton swab? Oh. <laughs> Nice of you to drop in. What about Michelle? <gasps> Great mother of muffins, that's right. Where's Michelle? Pigel, you're the language expert. Go talk to these, whatever they are. I believe they're called the lobes. They work in the baking soda mines in this asteroid belt. We'll ask them if they know where Michelle is. Ugh, must I do everything? <clears throat> a butter, a butter, 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 a butter. Butter, 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 butter. He said, a butter, butter, butter. Uh, <clears throat> we are strange creatures. They have seen no child, and that you have funny hair. <laughs> Jealous. Butter, 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 butter. Hey, hold it right there, butter, butter, buddy. Butter, 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 butter. Get your dirty mitts off of me. He says we're going to see the great overlord. Slaves? Did she just call us slaves? They made me their queen. They don't want me to go. You? Why? Maybe it's because they enjoy my company. I like it here. They're all girls. They don't think playing with Miss Pretty Pretty is boring. Like some people do. Hey, we like your company too. I mean, most of the time. Anyway, we tried to make you happy. Yes, we threw you a party. Nobody threw me a party. Hint, hint. And we got you a present. We went through behavior modification on the X51. Yeah, you know, compassion. <laughs> bada bada, bada bada. He, uh, <clears throat> she says that's not what compassion is. Bada bada bada, bada bada. Compassion is when you care enough to help someone with their problem and take time to find out what's bothering them. It was nice of you to think of a party, but you can't make me feel better with parties or obnoxious machines. Well, what can they do that's so special? They listen. Uh, what was that? Well, you could try listening to their troubles. It's one way to show care and compassion. Okay, I'm listening now. Tell me what's wrong, Michelle. You really want to know? I've just been missing my friends recently, and since I'm the only girl around and there's nobody for me to play with, I guess I was just feeling lonely. Oh, that's what you've been trying to tell us. I'm really sorry I didn't listen. What can I do to help? Well, this is a start, Jason. I feel better just knowing you're listening to me. Well, this is something the X-51 could never do. I broke it. You, you what? what? That explains it. The machine was supposed to make us compassionate, but it did the opposite. That's why Mitchell didn't help Vigil even when it looked like he found hurt himself. And why Zigil wouldn't give any cake to Vigil even when he cried out that he was hungry. And it's why I didn't listen to my sister when she needed me. 
Don't you see? Nobody cared about anyone else. Speak for yourself, bucko. Stop! These are my friends! Stop! I've had fun with you, Lobe Girls, but I have to leave with my friends. Bada bada bada! Of course they're real friends. Look how much compassion they showed me. Sorry, sis. That's all right. I'm glad to see you all back to normal. So, Michelle, you are now honorary captain of the Federation starship Rockhopper. But just for a couple of minutes, okay? Oh, like a queen on her throne. Oh, no. This is much, much better. Because I'm with my friends who know me and care about me. Take us home, Midgel. Aye, aye, Captain. And I like this one I got yesterday from Claire. That's a pretty waterfall, don't you think? Well, now, it's good to see my nippers so chipper. What's come over you? I'm feeling better now, Grandmom. Thanks to Jason. Jason? Now, how do you suppose he did that? All I did was listen. Ah, oh, what a beautiful way to show compassion to your sister. You see, love, when you just act happy in front of someone who's sad, it doesn't usually help. It's like taking away their coat on a cold day. Or pouring vinegar on baking soda. That's exactly right, love. Compassion is when you care enough to help someone with their problem and take time out to find out what it is. What's that for? Jason's experiment reminded me of an old recipe I used to make for your granddad. Ah, pleasant memories. And keep Mom and Dad safe on their trip. And thank you for a brother who knows how to listen with compassion. Michelle, you don't have to go on about it. 